The city of Pokrovsk in the Donetsk region is currently practically a ghost town. Most of its residents have left or are leaving heeding the advice of the authorities, writes The Guardian. We don't want to leave. But do we have a choice? The explosions are getting stronger every day. They are louder and more frequent. I don't have a specific plan. I'll try to find a job somewhere. We hoped until the very end that everything would be fine, said local resident Valeria Hanashchuk. There is no gas in the city. Electricity is still working. The railway station closed last week. As did most businesses and the central hospital. The publication writes, Enemy aircraft destroyed bridges in and around Pokrovsk, including the highway connecting the city with the neighboring city of Mirnograd, the publication says. It is noted that out of a population of 50,000, about 18,000 remain in the city. Many of those who remain say they do not have money to rent an apartment in expensive cities such as Pavlograd or Dnipro. Others are stuck due to disability and some are even waiting for Russian troops. Soldier Alexander from Milnorad, who fights as part of the National Guard of Ukraine, described such people as follows. They watch Russian television. They are not very successful. They drink beer smoke cigarettes and say that the state should give them money. Since they do not get this from Ukraine, they want Russia. Volunteer Ara Karapetyan from Vovchansk believes that the Russian offensive will continue, more towns and villages will be destroyed and more civilians will be forced to flee. Putin is crazy. He will not stop at one region. He wants to take over all of Ukraine. This is why we must destroy him. This is a war between good and evil. They want to kill people. We want to save them. I hope that good will win, he said. Let us recall that the chief sergeant of the strike UAV company of Ukraine, Yegor Fyrsov, predicts that in the near future, Russian troops will again try to break through to the city of Pokrovsk and reach the road to Dnipa. They may bypass this agglomeration. They will try to take this agglomeration from the sides in the so-called pincers, as they did in Bakhmut and Avdiivka. That's 99%. But the fact that the enemy will try to take this agglomeration and go on the way to the Dnieper, that's 100%. Explosions and columns of smoke were seen in southern Lebanon from the Golan Heights as the Israeli military said it was carrying out extensive strikes against the militant group Hezbollah. The Israeli military on Monday warned residents of southern Lebanon to immediately evacuate homes and other buildings where it claimed Hezbollah stores weapons. It was the first warning of its kind in nearly a year of steadily escalating conflict and came after a particularly heavy exchange of fire on Sunday. Hezbollah launched around 150 rockets, missiles and drones into northern Israel in retaliation for strikes that killed a top commander and dozens of fighters. There was no sign of an immediate exodus from the villages of southern Lebanon. The escalating strikes and counterstrikes have raised fears of an all-out war, even as Israel is still battling the Palestinian Hamas in Gaza and trying to return scores of hostages taken in Hamas' October 7 attack. Hezbollah has vowed to continue its strikes in solidarity with the Palestinians and Hamas, a fellow Iran-backed militant group, while Israel says it is committed to returning calm to the border. It was not immediately clear how many people would be affected by the Israeli orders. Communities on both sides of the border have largely emptied out because of the near-daily exchanges of fire.